I'm going to be showing you through Moodle's features and in doing so helping you to understand what Moodle is about. I will also be highlighting some of Moodle's advantages and disadvantages. Also, since I am a B.Ed student, I will relate my presentation to education and how Moodle can be used there. Moodle stands for a Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment and is used by many different locations such as schools, enterprises and universities and colleges. Moodle offers the most sophisticated high-level functionality of educational course management systems, plus much more, plus it's free from the internet. It's also becoming a more increasing learning source. Firstly, Moodle is known as a course management system, which can also be called a virtual learning environment. It is free to download from the internet and is mostly used by educators to create beneficial online learning sites. Moodle has two different websites, Moodle.org, which is a community site in which Moodle is discussed by its users, and it is also the place to download Moodle and start using it. Although it is simply used in education, it has the ability to cater for hundreds of thousands of pupils, such as in a university campus or simply within a small primary school. Moodle.com, on the other hand, is a service website which is mostly, mostly used to discuss more important consultations and support in using Moodle. Moodle has many different features available such as activity modules, forums for case and databases etc. This encourages communication and collaboration within learning environments which is very beneficial to the students or pupils. However, Moodle can also be used to simply deliver content to students, such as using Scrum packages, and make assessment more fun by including quizzes. I made use of the demonstration site on Moodle.org, which showed me all the different activities which teachers can do, such as assignments, chats, forums, lessons, quizzes, forums or surveys, plus more. This demonstration site can take students, administrators or teachers through the basics of using Moodle and also let them have a go of creating their own virtual learning environments. Through doing this myself, I learned how teachers can upload the files that they need to help encourage the learning of their pupils, i.e. worksheets, homework assignments or classroom assignments. They can also monitor the pupils' progress over time to see how well they're getting on. It is also beneficial to know that parents can become a part of Moodle in their child's learning environment by logging on to Moodle and chatting with the teacher, as it is important that they have a strong relationship together. Now that I have introduced Moodle to you, I want to tell you some of the advantages and disadvantages that I feel it has. Moodle has small and large learning communities within it, which discuss various topics of interest. It also promotes e-learning in schools and enterprises, which is a large part of the curriculum for excellence in introducing technology into classrooms. It introduces different learning and teaching styles to business and teachers. It also allows the display of learning activities posted by other users in specific fields, where they can share the different activities they are using in their schools or businesses. It enhances communication and collaboration skills, which are vital within education and also business. Easy customization opportunities are also there to meet the personal needs of the project. It is open source and can be accessed easily online. It allows the publishing of learning resources for others to make use of and share. Quizzes can be tracked online and viewed by teachers or bosses. Here are some of the disadvantages I feel I have. You will also realise that there is a lot less disadvantages than advantages. This is an example of a Moodle website for teacher education. As you can see, it looks very professional and has been created to a very high standard with lots of different kinds of users. Thank you for listening to my Moodle presentation and I hope I've helped you to understand it better.